Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to start Google Chrome in incognito mode in both Windows 7 and 10, or pretty much any version of Windows. Basically, Google Chrome, incognito mode, as you can see right here, disables browsing history, site data. You can get to it with the Control shift n or click the three dots right here. Do a new incognito window and everything you need to know is right here. What can be seen, what can't be seen. It's a very nice feature, very popular. So let's close that out. Now, what happens is you can start and you can use it until you're done. And then once you close it, you're out of it. So if you prefer to use it all the time, here's what we need to do. Find your Google Chrome shortcut. I'm going to move it over here so we can play with it. Right click and hit properties. Scroll down here to the end. Get past that exclamation point and do dash incognito. You can click apply OK or just OK. Let's start it up. There you go, incognito mode. So every time you use that, it'll start in incognito mode. Now me, I like to have the option to do both. So let's take care of that by modifying right here, the shortcut. You could also do this if you still have it open. Hit general, do Google Chrome, just add the word incognito, just like that and then you will see Google Chrome incognito. Now, most installations of Google Chrome will have a desktop shortcut as well as sometimes a taskbar. What I like to do now is click start and just drag the Google Chrome over to the desktop. Now I've got them side by side on the desktop, just like that. Pretty neat. And there you have it. Of course, you can do this. It doesn't really help you much. You can't read it, but there you have it gives you quick access to it. Bottom right hand corner, we're all set and just about out of here. You should be able to click on the Major Geeks logo to subscribe if we helped you out. And somewhere along the line, this video, a little link popped up if for some reason you need to follow the tutorial with screenshots and this video is embedded in that page as well. Appreciate you watching as always, as you know, see ya.